How do you, what, what do you advise though? Because I think Sarah, that's great in this category, but it takes a lot to really, I think, have, have the confidence in, you know, especially with, with labor being such an issue right now for a lot of the retailers and brands listening, like, how are you, what is the strategy there? How would you advise another retailer considering doing this to get that kind of quality, um, engagement or employee generated content? I think, honestly, you're starting with a very simple survey of who works for you and who wants to share the story of a product they love. It's like so basic, right? It's like, uh, and you don't even realize, oh, wow, I didn't realize Tom, my brother-in-law, loves the me and my curls mousse. And he uses the charcoal bar. That guy's never been on camera. He's always, (laughs) and now he's like, he has a viral following. People love him because he's literally like, he made a video once where he was like, I'd recommend this to anyone with hair. (laughs) <laughs> and everyone's like, okay, thank you, Tom. Thank right. you very much. And literally, like he went live once where he sold a thousand mooses to a bunch of 14-year-old boys who were watching on TikTok because and, and their mom was like, oh my God, my son has frizzy hair. Yeah, like he could really use some defining moose. Yeah. <laughs> you know? that's... And you're like, so it really does come down to it doesn't have to be that complicated. It could be, it could be somebody on your marketing team, your community, your customer service team. It could be you, whoever's listening. Literally, if you are listening and you're like, well, I'm trying to run this strategy, it could be you. You should just right. turn the camera on and try it. Right. You know, it doesn't have to be like, you don't have to be trained as if you're going on national television, right? You're really just saying, this is my product. This is why we made it. This is how you use it. It's honestly something we've done too, is we've used it within the product pages on the website. That's very beneficial because if I'm literally on a product page, um, let's say like right uh, for a product like braid bomb, this product is so viral has been selling thousands a week on Amazon. Like it's very, very popular. And literally it's because I have a, I have an account where I just do braids and I, it's a TikTok account with over a million followers and I live, but it started with no followers, right? I yeah. started with nothing. It's not like I, it, and all I did was apply the product and create basic braids and provide education. So whatever product you make, whatever thing you sell, it doesn't matter what it is. I just need to know how does it work? How do I use it? When do I use it? And why would I buy it, right? So if you're watching and you sell anything, like we're talking about like a camera at Best Buy, you sell any product, it doesn't matter what the product is. I just need to be educated. I'm on your product page. I want to know how to use it. Does this work for me? And and then maybe I'll try it. And the other thing I'll say is um, you talked about retail, in-store mm-hmm. experiences. We've actually brought our video commerce in stores. Explain so we actually that. How are you doing that? Department store. We uh, we provided iPads for every store, and we put it on the retail display. And that is a phenomenal way to take your user generated content, employee content, founder content, and show a video experience in store. It, it's actually very successful. And I would love like a partnership with Target. That would be a phenomenal way on an end cap, bring in a video. This video is so popular. I mean, we are talking hundreds of millions of views on TikTok per month on our right. products. Wow. So if somebody is watching these videos on the braid bomb and then I'm walking through my Target store. If I walked in and I saw an end cap and I was like, oh, wait, that's that brand that keeps popping up on my feed or I've been on their website. I've watched their founder and you're just buying your groceries and you're buying your stuff, right? You're buying everything. You walk by that, you stop and you see the video. That experience is possible to bring in store too. Yeah. Sarah, you've given such incredible examples just now. Um, and you're, you're so charismatic. I, I want to buy pretty much anything that you're selling me. Um, but I, I'm curious now, like, how do you define what success looks like? You're, you're getting the views, you're getting, um, awareness. Um, you have these ideas for bringing the video commerce in store even, um, and, and bringing, people that are finding you on TikTok, um, you know, they're, they're into the target store now. How do you, how do you define success? Like, what does that look like? And is it different or are there similarities between some of the other social commerce efforts or even like the QVC, um, efforts that you've done? So I would define it in two ways. One being somebody, anybody, any customer that we've changed their own experience and we've given them the confidence to do their own hair. And that really makes everything worth 
of it, right? If I meet somebody who's like, oh my God, I could never curl my hair before. Yeah. And I have had your product and my hair looks so good, right? So I think it's like that, the feedback on the products and anyone watching, if you start to incorporate this type of video commerce, you're going to get the same feedback right? If you sell whatever you sell, a cleaning supply product, now they use it in their home, they're going to give you that feedback. And it's going to make you feel like, okay, my social efforts, my video live streaming, all of it feels worth it. If you literally can change someone's life. It's nice. So that's, that's one. The second I will say is data is analytics. Okay. We love numbers. We are obsessed with them, right? So it is not, yes, it's fun. Yes, it's cool. We're going to live stream. We're going to talk all day. You don't really want to live stream and nobody's watching. You don't really want to put a video out and be like, oh, why am I doing this? Like literally nobody's watching. But I will tell you, you know, this live stream stuff didn't exist before. And now we've got millions and millions of views because we put, we lean into it and we're putting effort into it. So the data is very important. So when you look at the website, you can literally look at all the analytics in the back end of Firework. You can see how many people were viewing that video, but it's not without effort. We put the tech stack behind it, right? We've got the pop-up video or we've got the carousel. Even when we're recruiting for Campus Wave, we actually use Firework on those product pages. So it's not, it's like to build the community, we're using video commerce where we make, we, you can make organic videos that have nothing to do with sales as well, because you're trying to build the numbers. I'm trying to build out the amount of people that apply for that program. So I'm using a carousel on that product and that page, right? So there's a lot of ways you can do that. And the other thing I will say is defining success. We just hit um, very quickly. Now we're at 1.1 million orders on TikTok shop. Wow. So hitting over a million orders on a social commerce platform from your live streaming and short form video proves that that video commerce does build a community, right? Like looking at our website and saying, okay, we have 15 million views, you, you know, viewers coming per month and a good percentage of them are watching the video. And I can see directly that they're shopping from that video. I'm like, that's success from a business perspective. I know I just, my conversion rate is higher when I send the text that goes to a live stream because they get their questions answered faster and they, right, they're, they're going to shop. And then when you see the increase in sales or like you were saying, your target is sold out of the product. It's like that success that I know is built from this like omni-channel approach of education-based content.